In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make the content area of the showcase WordPress theme bigger. And so in order to do that, first thing you want to do is um, check the HTML. You do that by uh, using inspect element. You do that again by right clicking and then you can select this option. Once you select this option, a window like this one will appear. And I mean, I, you know, I arrange this so that you can at least see both windows and what happens when I change uh, one thing. So you want to isolate just the article area over here. What you do is go down and uh, let's see. This is the, uh, you know, the article area, but I want just the article. Um, I don't want like a part of it. I want the whole uh, article area. This one. Not the div uh, div part inside, but the whole article area. And so once I've selected this, you can go down on this other uh, window. Let's see. You have these options, but they're not what I'm looking for actually. Because you, um, there's, I'll show you what I'm looking for. If I go up one more time, it brings me to the single content um, div. And on, on top of that one is the uh, whole, it is the um, content area and sidebar div. Okay, but we can, we can work with the sidebar later. So once we selected this one, we go down um, where it says a uh, single content over here. You see, you see that it uh, put the width to um, 885 pixels. And usually what I observe with uh, most WordPress themes, when you resize it, it changes um, it changes these automatically. Like for example, if I go ahead and resize this, give me a moment, uh, like so. Actually, you see that uh, there's uh, that the width is crossed out. Now it's using something else, a different um, width, and this is by this uh, rule over here. Uh, let's see if it shows me that rule. So this is the style editor, which is the you know dot CSS um, style sheet, and you can uh, see the various things that they've done here. Let's see if I can't find what they did exactly. So wrap middle, wrap content, single content. They they brought me to this, and this is layout number one. And this is at media uh, when the min width is uh, 1240 pixels and math when max width is 1410 pixels. So let's see. That's very interesting how they done it. So that's the at media. And then if you want, if the if I resize it to a smaller, um, then smaller than 1240 pixels, you should switch the layout. Let me see if I can't find it. It should be another at media sign around here. There you go. See right over here. At media, when the min width is 10, 10 uh, 1, 104 pixels, and max width is uh, 12 or uh, 1238 pixels. So what you can do is go to your uh, WordPress, um, home, uh, your WordPress website, go to the back end and change the um, go to the um, style sheet CSS and manually change the width of all of these to your desired uh, to the desired amounts okay if you want to really customize it but if you don't want to get um, all into that detail and only change um, a single one of these what you do it may or may not work but what you do is let's see you have this one selected we go down to where it says width over here and you can just uh, manually change this and then um, put that um, as a uh, optional CSS, like maybe 12, um, 12, uh, 12 uh, 100 pixels. See, and that works. Okay, but if you were really uh, the best way to do it is go is to go to your Word, uh, WordPress website and uh, manually change these in the style CSS. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comments below. I'd appreciate if you like and share this video and subscribe to my channel. Bye.